Greetings and welcome to my playthrough of the Fire Mage Artifact Quest for Felomalorn. This is a part of a greater playthrough of the entire class campaign for mages in World of Warcraft Legion. Let's go up to this appendix of Azerothian artifacts kept here in the Hall of the Guardians, which is the order hall for the mage class, and check out Felomalorn. Flamestrike in its native tongue, Felomalorn was born into battle by members of the Sunstrider family as they proved their valor in the War of the Ancients during the Troll Wars and against the Death Knight Arthas Menethil. Ultimately, the sword was lost in the frigid wastes of Northrend. In the aftermath of the first demon invasion of Azeroth, called the War of the Ancients, Dothramar Sunstrider led the entirety of the Highborn that decided they wanted to keep using magic to the Eastern Kingdoms, and they established there in Quel'Thalas. These mages and magistrix uh, elves became known as the High Elves. Now, Dathramar served as the High King of Quel'Thalas until his son took over. His name was Anastarian, he was the last king of Quel'Thalas, and he fought during the Troll Wars with the first humans and he spread magic to them. He also fought during the Second and Third Wars when Quel'Thalas was invaded by the Orcs and by the Scourge, and he fell to Arthas' blade, I believe. Later on, Kael'thas Sunstrider took over Felomalorn and used this against Arthas in Northrend when it was aiding, uh, aiding uh, Illidan, and now the blade is lost up there. So we're going to go there and retrieve this blade, apparently. Let's accept this one and go and have a chat with Meryl. You have my ear. This is a wise choice. It should serve you well in our hunt for Kathra Natir, which is the main goal of the mage campaign. The Tyrus Guard must not fail. Ah, fellow Melorn, I am familiar with this weapon. For ages, the Council of Tyrus Fall attempted to recover the blade. Its control over primal forces of fire would be devastating in the wrong hands. As luck would have it, an associate of mine, Archmage Modera, has recently uncovered some information on this artifact. This crystal contains a message from her. I suggest you start your search there. The portal over there will bring you back to the city. Beware. Return here once you have retrieved the artifact. In the meantime, I'll see about tidying up a bit. Greetings. I... I trust this projection is clear. This is Modera, Archmage of the Council of Six. I've come across a lead on a weapon that could significantly aid your fight against the Legion. My sources... well, unable to join us within the city. I ask that you meet with me at the Crater of Dalaran's Foundation in Hillsbrad. Due to the sensitive nature of this matter, I must ask for your discretion. If you attempt to speak to me at any other location, I will disavow all knowledge of this message. I await your arrival. Welcome. I'm glad you received my message. Light be with you. Etheros, I'm glad you came. I have found information on just the thing we need to turn this war in our favor. Felomalorn, the rune blade of the kings of Quel'Thalas. It was said to harness the very essence of flame, and after being reforged by Kael'thas, could even stand against the legendary Frostmourne. We thought that the blade was lost with Kael'thas' death, but an associate of mine has a lead on where it may be located. We need every advantage we can get with Felomalorn in your hand. That legion will surely will tremble. Ah, our company is here. Be careful. Thank you both for meeting me in such an inhospitable location. I assure you that if I were able to meet you in Dalaran, I would. The wounds inflicted by the Divine Bell incident run deep, Aethys. Others in the Council are not as forgiving as I. Precisely why I'm here. If I can't return to my former position, then perhaps the Council will at least consider restoring my access to the city. As a show of good faith, I have information to offer. I will bring your case before the others, but I cannot promise the outcome will be in your favor. You have my thanks, friend. I once knew Leandra Sunstrider, a distant relative of King Anasterion. Though she bore the Sunstrider name, in truth, her branch of the family held no claim to the throne. After Kael'thas' betrayal, she became obsessed with finding Fela Malorn to claim it for her own. I told her it was a fool's errand, that she'd never find the relic. Indeed, it has been many years since I last heard from her. But with the Legion's coming, I decided to begin my own search for the location of the blade. I saw a vision of Leandra with the weapon in hand. Around her, 
The land was covered in ice, and an all too familiar fortress loomed behind her. Ice Crown, you believe you'll find her there? Indeed I do. And nothing happens in that citadel unless its master wills it. I would not be surprised to learn he had a hand in this. First of all, Aethas Sunriver mentioned a Divine Bell incident. This was something that happened during the uh, Pandaria campaign, during the Mist of Pandaria, where the, uh, the Sun Reavers, which are the part of the, the Blood Elves that want to return to Dalaran, uh, were kind of kicked out because of a, a certain event that happened during that campaign. I won't go into how, how things expired there because it's a really interesting story that I think you should check out, or I might cover that in another video. Uh, but anyway, Aethas is currently banned from uh, the... Uh, from from Dalaran, and um, he was talking about uh, this this uh, Leandra Sunstrider apparently, who is seeking out the blade um, and uh, talking about the Master of Ice Crown, which is currently Bolivar the Lich King. Baladash Malanore. Our next journey will be to Ice Crown. There, in the heart of the Scourge, we'll find fellow Malorn. We must overcome the mistakes of the past. It is time to make our move. I can conjure a portal that will take you directly inside. But it will take some time before I can make another and join you. The Lich King will no doubt sense the magic of your arrival, so you will need to move fast to locate fellow Malorn and secure it. If Leandra has the blade with her, then I fear she may not relinquish it easily. Be prepared for anything. Safe trap. The portal will take you directly inside Ice Crown. Hurry, it won't last long. I'll follow after you as soon as I can. Good luck, hero. an intruder who has come in search of plunder. You underestimate the dangers of Ice Crown, foolish mage. Your thoughts are transparent. I sense you have come seeking Velomalorn. You hope to use it against the Legion. Interesting. I wonder. If you are as powerful as you believe, then perhaps you may prove more worthy of the sword than the last mage who came to claim it. But be warned, I will not be responsible for the fate which befalls you, any more than I was for what happened to the last seeker who hoped to take my relic. Should you succeed, the blade is yours. But if you should fail, then you will become a mindless minion of the Scourge. Do not expect my protection. You step deep into the land of the dead, mortal. The Lich King has decreed that the living shall not enter Ice Crown. I too came to Ice Crown in search of fellow Malorn. The Lich King gave me the blade. And more, he gave me purpose. Only when the blinding pain of life left me did I see the truth. Only then was the majesty of the plan revealed. You do not realize that you're groping in the darkness. Fellow Malorn would be wasted in your hands. The blade is mine by the will of the master and by rights of blood. Oppose me and you will be struck down! Foolish mortal! You should have bled when you had the chance! Arise, ghouls! Feast upon this intruder's heart! My minions will rip you apart! I will 
will not be defeated! Come, my pet! Sate your hunger with the flesh of the living! Enough of these games! This ends here. If you long for my blade so badly, then you shall have it! Awaken, Gorwing! Tear my foe asunder! I'm with you, hero. I'll hold Leandre at bay. Focus on destroying that monster of hers. Aethus! How dare you! Have you forgotten who I am? I remember who you were, but the creature before me now is but a walking corpse! This ends now! So c c cold. All doubt has been banished. You are truly worthy of the blade. Claim your prize and leave, hero. The living have no place within my. Of An inglorious stain upon the Sunstrider name has been cleansed. Good work, hero. Let's go, before the Lich King decides we've overstayed our welcome. I must plead my case before the Council. Esteemed Archmages of the Council, May I present to you the bearer of fellow Melorn. You need something? As you can see, our former colleague followed through on his promise of assistance. I trust you will take that into account as you consider his request to be allowed back in the city. How do we know he won't betray the Kirintor once again? If he wished to use the blade for his own ends, he would have simply given it to one of his sun reavers. Aethas's actions appear to be genuine. I say we grant his request. Very well. That's two in favor of allowing Aethas back into the city. Answer him. How do you vote? Uh, very well. I trust the wisdom of Carlane's council. I vote yes. And what say the rest of you? Yes, of course. Then it is decided. Aethas Sunreaver, you are free to go. Do not misuse this opportunity given to you. First of all, the flavor text, we have both fellow, fellow Malorn here, and we have Heart of the Phoenix. So first of all, not Elven, it gets the text start out here, maybe? Anyway, let's check out this one. Not Elven weapons, not when they are reforged with magic and hatred and a burning need for revenge. No, Arthas, fellow Malorn is stronger than ever, as am I. Quoted from Kael'thas Sunstrider. This is one of the dialogues that happened during the Frozen Throne campaign, I think? I think that's where it is. And uh, when the fighting was done, Dathra Mar stood painted in demon blood. As night fell, he knew that more battles remained, and yet, with this elf and this blade among us, we held out hope that victory did not lie beyond our grasp. The weapon itself starts out with Phoenix Flames, hurls a Phoenix that causes 21 fire damage, 21,000 fire damage, to the target and splashes uh, damage to other nearby enemies. This damage is always a critical strike. We also unlock Wings of Flame, increasing fire damage you deal by 3% flat. Nice, you can see the heart of the Phoenix in the background there. 
Spreading out, we start off with a couple of golden traits. Phoenix Reborn targets affected by your Ignite have a chance to erupt in flame, taking additional fire damage and reducing the remaining cooldown of Phoenix Flame by 10 seconds. So this one, it has a 45 second uh, cooldown currently, so that's a really nice bonus. Pyretic Incantation. Each consecutive critical strikes you deal increases critical damage you deal by 5%. So the more crits you do in a row, the more damage they will deal. That's insane. And we also have Aftershocks. Flame Strike calls down one additional pillar of fire each time it is cast. Whoa, that's pretty nice. Appearance wise, we start out with the regular golden and uh, red um, version. We can also get the purple one is a green and a blue one this one looks really nice as well the upgraded version looks a bit more fierce we have a phoenix rebirth which is more phoenix looking weapon starts out with green as the regular one a bit fell magic going on here we have also lava born edge oh let's get a look at this thing a very uh, death knight ish look on this one and the hidden appearance is hidden currently, so I can't really show you that right now. Maybe there are some mages here in this room that has the hidden appearance? No, I don't think so. That's it for this episode of the Mage Class campaign. We got Fellow Malorn and the Heart of the Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed this episode here. Next time we'll be going after Aluneth, the arcane weapon. And uh, uh, see you guys then.